They're long, curved, and fit perfectly in your hand. That's right, we're going bananas. The popular edible seedless fruit of the banana plant is, botanically speaking, a berry. Bananas come in a wide variety of tastes, sizes, and colors. When you think bananas, the long, sweet, yellow, Cavendish dessert banana is probably what comes to mind if you're from the Americas or Europe. These kinds of bananas are the ones we'll be talking about here, as opposed to the firmer, starchier cooking bananas, also called plantains, that are often larger with tougher skins and less sweet. Among other nutrients, bananas are rich in potassium, vitamin B6, and high in fiber. Unlike plantains, they're usually eaten raw. Once a banana is harvested, the color of its peel begins to change. Straight off the plant, they're green. But once picked, ethylene gases stimulate the production of enzymes that gradually affect the color, firmness, and sweetness of the fruit. They grow sweeter as starches in the banana are converted into sugar. A perfectly ripe banana is yellow, but eventually this process causes brown spots to appear, called enzymatic browning. A fully brown or black banana is considered overripe, but can still be used in recipes. The so-called Cavendish banana was named after the 6th Duke of Devonshire, William Cavendish, in the 1830s. Working with a shipment of bananas from the country of Mauritius, his good friend and head gardener Joseph Paxton was able to cultivate them in the Chatsworth Estates greenhouse. Almost every banana consumed in the Western world today is directly descended from this original crop. Up until the 1950s, the Gros Michel banana, sometimes called Big Mike, was the primary variety of banana grown. In fact, the generic banana flavor commonly tasted in sweets and other artificially flavored foods comes from the classic Gros Michel variety. But at least as early as the 1920s, the spread of Panama disease had caused shortages and almost drove the variety to extinction. After the 1950s, it was no longer economically feasible to grow the Gros Michel variety. And the more disease-resistant Cavendish banana came to the forefront as a replacement. The Cavendish banana was thought to be immune to the disease, and it was. But only that specific Western Hemisphere strain of the disease. Much later, when Malaysia joined the banana industry, it was discovered too late that the Cavendish was prone to a variant of the disease that was found there, soon called Tropical Race 4, or TR4. In 2015, a farm in Australia was quarantined after TR4 was detected, with its spread found to be uncontrollable. By August of 2019, a national emergency was declared in Colombia. TR4 had found its way to Latin America and the Western Hemisphere, further threatening bananas as we know them. As of 2021, it's been spotted in Peru and Venezuela, two of the world's largest exporters of bananas. Researchers continue to try to find ways to combat the disease, while remote jungles are searched for new, potentially more resistant banana variants. The classic 1920s song, Yes, We Have No Bananas, was inspired by a Greek fruit stand vendor on Long Island. It's thought that the vendor may have been out of stock because of the worldwide shortage of Gros Michel bananas thanks to the Panama disease spreading at the time. Did you know that bananas are naturally radioactive? Potassium-40, or K-40, which is abundant in bananas, naturally emits about 0.1 microsieverts of radioactivity. But don't worry, consuming a banana is roughly 1% of your average daily exposure. That's 50 times less than a dental x-ray, or 400 times less than your typical airline flight. In fact, it's such a small amount of radiation that the banana equivalent dose unit was introduced in the mid-90s to educate people about the small amounts of radiation found every in daily life. Bananas are considered bad luck among sport fishermen. Why they're bad luck? Well, there's a lot of different reasons that people come up with. Who knows? As of 2021, according to the Internet Movie Database, the top five most popular movies with banana in the title are The Banana Splits Movie 2019, Banana Split 2018, Woody Allen's Bananas, 1971. Herbie Goes Bananas, 1980. Banana Joe, 1982. Well, that's all there is to know about bananas, for the moment at least. Pour one out for the Gros Michel and say a little prayer for the Cavendish. If you like this and want more information in 3-Minute Bites, hey, hit subscribe. Let's see if we can kind of do these a little more often. Eh, we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for watching.
Come on, come on, come on! 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 Come on, come on